Champions League final will be taking place in Cardiff, Wales. The city of Cardiff is a port city on the south coast of Wales. It is also the capital of Wales. The European League, known as the UEFA Champions League, is a competition of soccer, also known as football, to the rest of the world, involving the top best club teams in all of Europe. Uh, the final will be played on 3rd of June, 2017, and the two finalists are yet to be determined. Events like these can be a easy target for terrorists. Past events like the bombing in Paris, France near the stadium, there had to be an immediate evacuation I had to cancel the game. Another is the bombing in Dortmund, Germany, not happened long ago when the soccer team was heading in the stadium and a bomb went off in the bus, one of the players were injured. So now Carter police are taking this as an opportunity to catch any person that can be a threat. But what exactly is their plan and how will they do it? According to BBC News, South Wales Police has provided 177,000 euros for facial recognition. Technology that they plan to use at the stadium. If we're talking in US dollars, they have provided with $192,000 for this kind of technology. Also stated in BBC News, faces will be scanned at the main entrance of the stadium and Cardiff Central Railway Station. They can be matched against 500,000 custody images stored by local police forces. South Wales Police confirmed that the pilot and, and said it was a unique opportunity. A report on the plan was first posted in tech news site motherboard.com. Around 70,000 fans are expected in the stadium, and Cardiff is preparing for a further 100,000 people to visit the city on that day. Real-time facial recognition is planned to be used in and around the main stadium and Cardiff Central train station on that day of the Champions League final, the contract says. But there is a slight concern involving with this kind of technology. According to Engagenet.com, at the same time, there's also a concern that the technology just isn't ready. Face recognition ideally relies on clearly visible headshots. How do you capture those shots when thousands of people are swarming through a st stadium or a st uh, train station? While some previous uses at festivals were deemed a successful at recent tests and a carnival by London's police station didn't ident identify a single person of interest despite 452 arrests. That is what test is for though it could be determined whether or not large-scale face recognition is worth the effort. Police are also taking as a concern that the technology that they are using can target innocent people and gain too much face recognition information than necessary. Police are taking extra precautions and limiting their standards for people who are not a target. Everyone who is headed to the Champions League final are going to be part of a massive experiment in security and privacy uproar. The opportunity and the experiment will be determined if this can not only be, be used in Europe, but around the world. I'm Ivan, back to you, Angers.